Well, hello there. I'm the mad artist. Why? Because, well, I like to paint, and I'm quite mad. That's really all you need to know. So, I got to thinking. If a picture is worth a thousand words, does it work in reverse? Is one thousand words worth a picture? Today, we look up the completely scientific idea that the world is ruled over by lizard people. I know literally nothing about this, so I can just create the picture from scratch. I do need to do a little research to understand everything that's in the theory, so I can represent every idea in one painting. So, I think that's where I'm going to start. Let's go to Wikipedia. All right, so per Wikipedia, a man named David Icke, or is it Ick? I assume it's Ike, but you never know. But I'm just going to call him Ike. Per Wikipedia, a man named David Ike created this entire conspiracy theory and just kind of made it up off the top of his head. And he purports that blood drinking, shape shifting lizard people are all the most powerful individuals in the world and they are trying to enslave us. Just the perfect amount of crazy and crazy that will make for a great painting. All right, so what should our backdrop be? I don't have a lot to go on, and I think that having a lizard holding the earth in his hand would be a little obvious, so let's think of something a little different. Oh, I've got it. Let's have a big city skyline with lizards wrapped around and entwined in the structures. That should be symbolic, right? Or at the very least, I'll just have lizards standing around in a city skyline. We'll see how it turns out. So let's start with some landscape. Let's start with some ground. Okay, and now the sky. So the sky is easy enough. We could just add some blue fluff and a few clouds, but no, no, no. That's far too easy for something this majestic. This is a lizard conspiracy theory. So maybe this is an alien planet, or maybe they shot a cosmic death ray that changed the color of the sky. I don't know, it's all completely rational and you just gotta go with me. So who knows? But I'm gonna say the sky has turned green for lizards because why not? So let's add it in and some clouds, of course. And while we're up here, let's add some planes, or at least one. We've got deploying a chemtrail, since I'm sure that's part of the conspiracy. Chemtrails are part of everything. Ah, there we go. All right, now we need to put in a city skyline. So now I've gone and drawn one boring building, and I'm already bored with it. So I think I'll do something more fun for the rest of the skyline. I'm only gonna do a few buildings just so it's not too cluttered, but uh, the first one I thought of is a clown college. Yes, that's exactly what this post-apocalyptic world needs, a bright and happy clown college right here. Because I mean, lizards can be clowns too. Let's not disregard that. You don't wanna be a lizard racist. All right, so we're done with that. And we can always add more details to the college later if we need to. And now I notice the perspective of the back building is a little off, so it looks wrong. But who knows, maybe it's a baby office building. I mean, in a world of lizard overlords, maybe the remaining humans are super tiny. I mean, maybe that's what turned the sky green, is the shrinking ray on people. I mean, it's, it's definitely possible and definitely logical. So, you know, maybe that's what happened. Who knows? But... To try and fix it, I'm going to add a little hill right here to disguise the perspective. All right, so let's put in a little shopping center over here, because why not? So let's make it small, to kind of fit with the perspective of the office building. Yes, here we go. Okay, and there'll be some shadows on it so I can add a tree next to it, and perfect. Okay. Now to add some windows, some detail. Good. Um, okay, problem. Uh, this looks more like a house than a shopping center. So I could restart, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as a house with a business inside because 
every city zones houses next to high rises next to clown colleges. That's just how the lizard world works. Okay, that's just how it works. So, what is this house going to be selling? Um, I think the best business for people in this world would be lizard repellent. So I'm just going to put a sign up at the top here because, of course, there are still people, but lizards rule everything. So for those who are enlightened, they're going to want some lizard repellent. That's my logic. So here we go. Okay. All right. So now we move on to the actual lizards. Now, <clears throat> Wikipedia says... According to a British conspiracy theorist, David Icke, tall, blood-drinking, shape-shifting reptilian humanoids from the Alpha Draconis star system, now hiding in underground bases, are the force behind a worldwide conspiracy against humanity. So, because they are blood-drinking, and we know this for a fact, we're going to also need some blood stains coming from their mouths, or some sort of blood-drinking or something, but I'll get to that first need to figure out more details on these completely real lizards. First, I need to figure out what color they are. Let me look. Okay, so after like 30 seconds of Googling this, I don't see a consensus on their color, and I personally don't feel like researching it anymore. So I'm just going to assume they're a full rainbow of colors, because who doesn't love that? So first, I'm going to make a reptile right smack dab in the center of the painting. It'll be kind of like the ruler or something. If nothing else, it'll just be the centerpiece that you'll look at. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just drawing lizards over here. So uh, what I do know, though, he is flesh eating, blood drinking, and shape shifting for the absolutely stellar journalism provided by David Icke. So let's get going. Now, I think to be able to include the blood drinking part, I'm gonna put in an assistant type lizard that's like right over here. And there's feeding him blood or something. Give me a sec, let me. Oh yes, I think I have it. All right, and now I think that while some lizards are evil bloodthirsty monsters, some of them are just regular dudes just chilling out. So I'm gonna have one here that's going to this clown college. And aha, I bet you thought this was totally random, which it was, but no, I had a plan all along, sort of. So here we go. Oh, and these lizards are supposed to be huge, like giant, tall, huge. So I'm gonna make them too large to really comfortably fit through the door, just barely. So it just looks like it's a mini door for him because of course this clown college was built for humans because even though the lizards rule the world and at any point in history when someone's ruled the world it's never worked this way but lizards rule the world but everything's built for humans because that makes complete and total sense thank you david ike for exposing the truth i'm so glad that you are around Right, right. Now we need to cover the shape-shifting aspect. And that's one I had to think about for a while. Because how do you cover shape-shifting in a painting? Well, in order to do that, I need a human, like, mid-transformation. So, I had to think. Who is a well-known lizard person? And by that I mean, who do we know for a fact is a lizard person? Because all of these are facts. How about the Queen of England? Yes, I think I'll have her shape shifting in here so people really get the idea. I was gonna include Justin Bieber because, you know, he's also a lizard person, but I figured, you know, the queen's a little more iconic than Justin. Sorry, Justin. So hopefully I can paint her face well. Let's give it a go. All right, so she turned out a little funny looking, but I think it worked out okay. It's only half of her face after all. So let's try and add the lizard part. All right, so that's not <laughs> terrible. <laughs> uh, it could be better, but I think it works for now, so I'm gonna move on. Now, we need to put in the idea that the lizards rule over people, so I'm just gonna add some human slaves in here. You know, maybe a human on tap, giving them blood, maybe a human running away, stuff like that. Just give me just a sec.
Okay, so I put in a couple of people, and I also added another lizard, and his skin is black, which did not plan out very well, because you can't actually see any scale definition, so he just looks like, I don't know, an Egyptian god or something, but it's okay. I'm sure they exist in this world, too. I'm not hating. So, yeah, the other thing is I'm not too great at painting people. I'm still practicing and learning, but you're just going to have to deal with it. This is the best I can do, okay? All right, so we have quite the crowd at this point. But my main question is, are lizard people friendly with all other lizard kind? Or are they also ruling over, like, the lizards of the planet? I don't know, but... I'd like to think that they're like friendly with all lizards and like they get together and that's like one of their biggest things against humanity is that we like enslave lizards and zoos and stuff. So I maintain that the lizard population loves other lizards. That's just the way that they are. So yeah, so let's see, um, what can I do to include that? I mean, they have to be fancy lizards. They can't just be regular lizards because, of course, they're going to be dressed up and, like, you know, amazing. So I think I'll put a fancy alligator down here. And don't come for me because I don't know if alligators are lizards or not, and I'm too lazy to look it up. So just go with it. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Alligator in a top hat. I love it. So since we now know... That lizard people are friendly to all other lizards and trust me that is a fact i mean if david ike can make things up and have people believe it i can too so it is officially canon now that alligators and top hats are the preferred pet of lizard people yes that is absolutely true um but i think i'm also going to make a giant snake in the background like bigger than any snake could ever be um, just like the size of this building back here. Um, I think it'll also help give perspective to the building, or it could also ruin it and make it look extra small because you're assuming that the snake is normal size in the background, but no, no, no. I, I want to make it a giant, like, building-sized snake because, again, that's completely true and completely rational. They exist. Just trust me. Alrighty, so I think that's about all I can fit in here. Um, I think it's a pretty good representation of how David Icke sees the world, honestly. Um, but I don't know, there's something missing. Let me read a little more. Oh, <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, so apparently these lizards are created by gray aliens. I don't really know why, because I didn't read that far, but I did read that bit. So we got to include some alien stuff in here. So let me look and see. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to add a UFO up in the corner here, but I don't just want some basic ass UFO. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. I'm going to have a fabulous blinged out UFO glowing in the sky. There we go. Because... If you have the choice between being basic or blinged out, you gotta pick blinged out. Yes, we're done. Look at this beauty. It is amazing, isn't it? Yes, the queen does look a bit like an evil bobblehead, I agree. But you know, it's fine. That's what I was going for all along, so we're good. I mean, that's, that's 100% <clears throat> what I planned. And yes, while it is a beautiful masterpiece, I'm still learning and practicing, so it could always be better, but we need a title for this now. What would be the perfect way to encapsulate this? And I don't think there's any other title besides The World According to David Icke. I think this is perfect. This is what it must be like to live in his brain. So, yeah. <sighs> Somebody's going to hang this on their wall. Thanks so much for watching, and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comments below for other paintings, and I'll catch you next time.